Hello everyone, my name's Connor Fogarty and yeah, I'm a composer based in Adelaide. So yeah, I'm, I'm currently living in Adelaide, but I, uh, I actually grew up in Toowoomba, which is a, a town in Queensland, about an hour and a half's drive from Brisbane. Uh, my early musical life involved playing piano, um, singing in choirs, and, and I did both of those throughout primary school and high school. I also had um, uh, me and my friends put together a band in high school and played some quintessential mid 2000s pop music. So, you know, Coldplay, slightly embarrassed to say, but, <laughs> but we had fun. Um, <laughs> So it was about grade 10 that I started composing and that was mainly due to my interest in film music. So composers like John Williams and, um, and Howard Shaw. Yeah, and so that they were the, the big early influences, I guess. And then in about grade 12, I decided I wanted to, you know, pursue composition further. And so I went to, to the local um, university uh, in Toowoomba, which is the University of Southern Queensland. And um, it was mainly a, a pop based uh, and performance based program. But I was lucky enough to uh, learn composition from a guy called Roderick McNeil, who still who was still at the uni at the time, it used to be a classical program. But, um, but yeah, um, but he's a, he, he was a really good um, scholar of Australian music. And so I was introduced to a lot of, a lot of great Australian composers from him, as well as some um, sort of late 19th century, early 20th century composers that sort of influenced the film music that, that I was a fan of as well. So that, that was very eye-opening and kind of broadened my horizons, I guess. <clears throat> Then last year, I moved to Adelaide to do uh, an honours year at the Elder Conservatorium. And I studied under Graham Kerner, who is a, a quite a well-known Australian composer. And I was lucky enough to have uh, my string quartet, well, two movements of my string quartet performed by the Australian String Quartet, who are really um, fantastic musicians. And that was an incredible experience to hear that. Um, I've also, I've written a bunch of other music too, orchestral music, chamber music, um, mainly in kind of a uh, neo-romantic, kind of quasi-minimalist um, kind of style, but I, I have different strands as well. Um, yeah, so what else? Yeah, I'm, I'm now doing my masters. I'm still at the Elder Con and currently writing a, a clarinet concerto, which will hopefully be performed in October. So my fanfare is called Razzmatazz <laughs> and the story behind the title isn't as exciting as it probably sounds. <laughs> I basically typed fanfare synonyms into Google and that's what came up. <laughs> I'm not very good at titles. Um, but anyway, it seemed to fit the, the basic mood of the piece. Um, at around the same time, I was writing quite a dark, gritty piece for, um, for cello and piano. So I wanted to kind of write something a bit lighter, brighter, more rhythmic. Um, and so this, this is what I wrote. a little bit of a score. Yeah, um, can't really talk about lively energetic uh, fanfares without talking about short ride in a fast machine. And um, 
this is a piece that I've been aware of and liked for a long time. And I actually did my honours kind of research essay thing on the rhythmic uh, elements of this piece. So it's got a lot of, a lot of polyrhythms, um, a lot of metric ambiguity. So there's this pulse that is set up throughout, but then um, everything around that pulse kind of throws you off and you never quite know uh, where you are rhythmically, which kind of gives it, gives it a lot of forward momentum. Um, and yeah, you'll hear, hear the, I guess, the influence. So just, uh, I'm not sure how, how much of this would you like me to play? It's quite a thing, so just play maybe the first 30 or 45 seconds. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 